an underground space makes a reference to cave paintings, the first abstract of reality. One could imagine arriving in this space and that the mural itself had existed in prehistory. It was something that was excavated and found. The work that I became interested in since I was very young was always proto-linguistic. Painting on walls, writing on walls, as a form of communication. The significance of all the traces left behind that make up the history of a place. The layers of paint on a wall, the layers of human history and migration. What led a place to become what it is. The title of the painting being Amistad America first came to me because I kept thinking about America as a continent not just as the United States of America, because of the cross streets of the building where the mural sits, which is Martin Luther King Jr. Boulevard and Guadalupe Street. Basically a symbol of what was there before it was the United States. It's a symbol of being Mexico. And Martin Luther King Jr. obviously is a symbol of justice for everyone. Then researching the history of Texas, the name Texas itself comes from the Spanish word Tejas, which comes from the Cadoan language of the Cado tribe, Taisha. Taisha means friendship. Amistad itself means friendship. Starting to dive into my own uh, Cuban background, I remembered that the Amistad was a slave ship, a schooner that was uh, Spanish owned, but had come from West Africa to Havana, carrying something like 53 slaves. It became famous because the slaves revolted on the ship, although they did not make it back to Africa. They sailed north and ended up in the United States, in New York, actually, in Long Island. It became a popular court case, the United States versus the Amistad. They were given their freedom in the United States, which was also a very big symbol in the abolishment of slavery. I think that it's a really important platform for the painting to live on. There's this sort of a brown sienna type color that I use throughout the piece. To me, that color resembles time passing, but it also resembles land. One of the other main colors I used in the piece was a kind of sky blue and greens and yellows and other tones that would resemble sort of broken maps and continents and parts of land and ocean. A lot of what I wrote in the piece Guadalupe or Martin Luther King or Austin or other words that are in the piece always includes a sort of flourish and underlines and accents and those in their movement sort of resemble traces of travel and migration from Africa to the United States or um, Europe to Cuba and so on and so forth. You see these points of the calligraphy sort of connecting the piece physical, gestural mark making and painting and thought of texture. More texture being parts that are land, less texture being parts that are water. So there's a lot of those sort of abstractions that actually come from ideas. So I made a scale model in the studio that is somewhere around 28 feet long by about four and a half feet tall. From beginning to end, the entire project took about four years. The model itself is something that I worked on for about three years. I started thinking about making a model because the space itself was under construction. I imagined that a model would allow me to see myself as being maybe, you know, someone that was, you know, five inches tall. I've always worked in large scale and the way that I would do it was I'd literally hold a sketch that I wanted to do on a wall right in front of me and I'd look at the lines and just do it larger. You don't always get it right the first try but you'd sketch it and then you'd step back and you'd look at your sketch and you'd look at the wall and you'd go oh, okay I got it. That practice over all the years uh, I guess it's something that just kind of became like a second nature to me because in this sense I, I didn't do a sketch and then do a model and then do the large piece. I just did the model, but I did the model imagining that I'm six times smaller than the actual large scale mural that I would eventually attack in its place in Austin, Texas. In some case, I've been preparing for this work my entire life. 